Well, I have to admit that even though I was expecting this, it's still pretty frustrating and disappointing. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna take a look at this mousetrap. Now it's very similar to a mousetrap that I invented and released on the market a couple months ago. It's called the Dizzy Dunker and it's what I consider to be the world's greatest mousetrap. But it doesn't take long for companies over in China to steal your idea and start selling them on websites like Amazon and eBay. So there's now quite a few fake versions of the Dizzy Dunker mousetrap on the market, but I'm gonna test it out and see if it still catches mice. So here's what the real authentic Dizzy Dunker mousetrap, the mousetrap I invented looks like. It's a bucket lid mousetrap. Make sure it's made in the USA by a family owned business called Rennie Traps. If you flip it over, you'll see made in the USA, Rennie Trap logo and all the instructions. But clearly this mousetrap was copied by companies in China because here's the fake one. It's also called a bucket lid mouse trap. If you flip it over, made in China stickers, but everything else is pretty much an exact copy. I'll open this up and see what the fake looks like. So here's all the pieces. These look so familiar. We spent months perfecting these and it looks like they pretty much just copied them. They did make some changes. So we'll go ahead and assemble it and see how the trap functions. We'll start by sliding the two paddles together. And here's these clips on the base that connect them. Here's the lid and the cover. Well, this trap looks very familiar. These paddles spin easily. Let's put on the front and back. You can see this fake copy from China is pretty much an exact match except the top is square instead of round. The opening's larger and the paddles are round on the edges. With my original, it has a round top. The opening's smaller. I'll take this off so you can see the paddles. They're angled, but other than that, it has the same clips on the paddles, the same top that clips on the bucket, and it spins just the same. So here's what this fake copy of my Dizzy Dunker mousetrap looks like when it's mounted to a bucket. The mouse goes up the ramp, smells the bait inside, enters, steps on the paddles, it spins, and they drop down. But I see a major problem. The people in China that stole my mousetrap made a change. The wider the opening here, the more chance a mouse could escape. And that's because the motion camera showed the mice would enter, step on the paddle, it would spin, and it would wedge them right here. When it pinches them, half their body is inside and half outside. With their back feet out, it reverses and escapes. So what we did after the motion camera footage is we made the opening much smaller. That way the mouse has to enter from the center where it's most stable and it can't get wedged as much on the side. I'm going to test it out with my pet mice, see if they get wedged and escape or see if they go in there and drop down. Okay mouse, go on inside this trap. Well, the first mouse dropped down, but it didn't spin very well. Let's test it out again with this mouse. Well, just as I suspected, our pet mouse was able to back out and escape. Let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see what happens. Well, a good design is a good design. Last night we caught several mice with this fake Dizzy Dunker. They're in the bottom of the bucket, but we didn't catch all the mice. I knew a few would escape. They felt it move, got wedged and backed out. So I'm gonna try this a second night and I'm gonna change the trap and put out my original front in this. I made it smaller. This is such an exact copy. Even the grooves line up so I can place this here and we'll see if that improves it. Now these are a native species called deer mice. So I'm gonna take them out in the wild and set them free. Then we'll test it out with the improvements to fully see if my mousetrap is better. 
Well, it looks like we caught a mother mouse and two babies. Go on out of there. <laughs> it's trying to get caught again. Now during the prototype testing phase for the original Dizzy Dunker, it took over six months and we caught over 300 mice with the trap. We'd watch with motion camera footage how mice interacted and kept making design improvements until we had the perfect trap. We originally tried this wider opening and I found it caught about 70% of the mice, which is pretty good, but not good enough to bring to market. We finally settled on the smaller opening that flares out in the bottom after switching to this design, we caught 99% of the mice. And that's because the center here is very stable. The mice will walk in, then it will flip and they'll go down. But the people in China that stole my trap have no idea they don't test it out with real mice. They just thought making the opening would be a better trap, but it's not. We'll pull this out. You can see how much of a copy it is. They even have the same tabs so it lines up. It's very easy to switch out with a better design. I'll clip those in. Now the mice will go right in the center. They can't get wedged, it will flip and they'll go down. Let's go set up the motion cameras again and see how this fake Dizzy Dunker does when you change out the opening with the original. Well, once again, we had some great success catching mice with the fake Dizzy Dunker. There's three in the bottom. They're native deer mice, so we'll set them free. Well, after testing out this fake copy of the Dizzy Dunker mousetrap, I found it's actually really good at catching mice, especially if you make the opening smaller. It's just so frustrating. I can invent a brand new mousetrap and spend all the time, effort, and money into making different prototypes, trying to make the best mousetrap possible and selling it and then having companies in China steal your idea and they have full access to our markets like Amazon and eBay. It was really important to me that these are made here in the USA by a family owned business like Rennie Traps. Now I've been through this before, I wasn't surprised. We went through this with the flip and slide mouse trap made by Rennie Traps. There are currently thousands of fake flip and slides on the market. So if you want the originals, make sure you click the links down below to get the best mouse traps possible. Now it really helps me out to buy these mouse traps I really believe in them. I think they work. And in the last year, my YouTube channel has seen a decrease in the income by about 80%. So I found I have to sell these mouse traps. So if you buy one, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I have posted over a thousand videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have a mouse problem, please consider clicking the link in the description and purchasing one of the mouse traps I invented. It's called the Dizzy Dunker Mousetrap and I consider it to be the greatest mousetrap ever made.